Hi, this is AC3D CAD and welcome to 3D Modeling. In this course, we'll build a 3D model of a globe valve using AutoCAD 3D. The techniques and commands that will be employed are the following. Extrude, Mirror, Evolve, Subtract, Intersect, Fillet Edge, Lines, and circle. All right, let's get started. Let's begin by opening a new drawing. And from view, you do tile vertically. Adjust this, the windows. Bring this to front view. Make sure you're on parallel projection. And now let's open layer properties. Create a new layer by clicking this icon. Change the color by clicking this square. Click index color and select red. Okay. Select uh, line type and select this center to X. Click OK and close. Start with line by typing L for line, enter, and uh, bring this up for 36 units. Right click to repeat line uh, for units to the right, bring it down for 36 units, and close. Change the layer. And from the center or midpoint, enter 44 units. Yeah, that's 44. Bring back the original layer. Click line again. And just hover over. Don't click. And bring up your cursor and enter 5 units, bring it to the right and enter 5 units, bring it down for 10, and bring it back to your left. Repeat line, and just hover over, and bring your cursor up for 9 units. Right click to repeat line, and from the midpoint, bring down your cursor and enter 9 units and go to your right. Type TR for trim. We're just going to trim these segments. And mirror. I'll type MI first for mirror. Enter. Highlight this whole thing and locate the midpoint of the center line and select no we have to create this arc from this point here to here so go back to the ribbon and click this drop down arrow beside the arc and select the start and radius option start from this side and click that um, corner and enter the radius of 33 same process click this arc icon click this corner and click that one and enter 36 for radius now type in I for mirror enter mirror that one select um, or specify mirror line Ch select the 
center line. Select no. Now type trim tr. Click twice and remove these uh, segments. Delete that. Delete that. Delete tr again. Click twice. Remove that. Remove this one. Enter. Copy the inner arc and these two lines. Set it aside. Type L for line and uh, click the midpoint. Type TR for trim, double click, remove that, trim that. Type J for join command and select the whole thing. Go back to the ribbon and select revolve. Highlight the object, enter and select this line and just accept 360 degrees which is given here from the command window. Enter. Next is create this rectangle. So start with, uh, maybe we'll start with polyline. And from the center, bring your cursor up for 2.5. Move to your right for six units. Bring it down for five. Bring it to the left for 12, bring it up for 5, and just type C to close. Type L for line, enter, and from the midpoint here, click um, this intersection enter type o for offset enter and enter the value of 2 which is the thickness and click this line enter type tr for trim click twice remove that enter line again and from this midpoint, click this intersection, uh, type O for offset, command, enter 2 for thickness, type TR again for trim, double click, click that, remove that, trim that, trim that. I'm just gonna turn off the grid and press shift and your wheel from the mouse and turn your drawing around and uh, isolate this line for now highlight it right click and select isolate just hover over and uh, select um, hide object and go back to the ribbon and select press pull command select that and bring it out press pull again and click somewhere in the middle bring it out and uh, select the endpoint somewhere here same process here when it turns blue bring it out and select this one here Go back to the ribbon and select uh, Union Command from the Solid Editing Panel and uh, combine these three. Now it's one object. Highlight that and move along Z axis somewhere in the middle. Now 
So what we are trying to create is this portion here. This is the, the um, half of this globe valve. So this is what we're going to create. This one here. So I'm just going to bring back the front. So uh, this spheroid-like shape that I create is uh, for using it to intersect. So let's copy that. Locate the center point and attach it to the midpoint of this line. Enter. Now go back to the ribbon and select uh, intersect command and just click the two objects now we have created this thingy so uh, i'm gonna hide this one too so highlight go to isolate and uh, hide object bring your drawing to the front line and um click uh, from the center and bring it up for 20 units I'm just gonna change this to um, center line layer and since we are gonna make um, this flange here this circle so the Z axis should be parallel to the direction of your sphere so go to coordinates panel and click the Z axis vector so just bring it down or bring it up and uh, go back to the ribbon select circle click this endpoint and type d for diameter option and enter 26. let's uh, turn this drawing for a better view <clears throat> and uh, circle again Type D for diameter option and enter 18. Create another circle. Click the endpoint. Type D for diameter option. Enter 14 units. Extrude this one. As you can see here, it's two units. Bring it down. Two units. I'm just gonna choose uh, 2D wireframe or wireframe so I could see it better. Extrude that one and this one, this these two circles, and bring it down and hit that uh, midpoint over there somewhere. So I'm gonna bring this back to realistic, or X-ray would be better. So what I'm going to do is uh, remove this hole. So go back to the ribbon and select subtract command. Select this one and this one. These are the objects you want to keep. Right click and select the object you want to remove which is the inside circle. That one there. Right click and now you have a hole. You can see. All right. Now type C for circle command. Click this endpoint. Type D for diameter and enter 14. I'm just going to hide this one. Right click, go to isolate and select hide objects. Delete that. We don't need that anymore. We just need this to poke a hole for this thingy. So type J for join command. Select that. Now it's one object. And go to the ribbon and select revolve. Click that. Enter. Start this axis for your point of revolution click and type minus 180 
because we just want half of the revolution now bring back the hidden object so right click go to isolate and end object isolation now we're gonna combine these two so go back to the ribbon click uh, I mean select um, union command click that and that now we're gonna extrude this one and go down till you hit the center of the circle and go back to the ribbon select um, subtract command click the object you want to keep right click click the object you want to remove let me see looks good now it's time to remove this extra thingy that's protruding so we'll use our spare width again so highlight copy selection attach it in the middle uh, subtract command again click the object you want to keep click the object you want to remove let me see all right it looks clean but again we have to poke a hole in the middle here as shown here in the cross-section view this is the hole that goes all the way down which is eight um, inches so let's go back to this drawing and draw circle from here and type D for diameter option and enter eight units extrude I'm just gonna enter a numeric value so I'm just gonna enter 30 now use again your subtract command from the solid editing panel uh, highlight the object you want to keep right click and select the object you want to remove and now we have this hole now I'm gonna go I think I don't need this one anymore so I'm just gonna erase it go to um, left view and let's mirror this portion not that one but just this one so type in I select endpoint and just bring your cursor up as long as it's straight you don't have to click any quadrant here you can see that red dotted not red green dotted line and just click somewhere here and select no now we have this thing and we're gonna combine these two go back to the ribbon and select union command so I'm gonna click that one click this one there you go just make sure I click the inside too so copy move it somewhere here I'm gonna go top view go back to the ribbon and select slice command highlight the whole thing right click and select the point so this time I'm gonna use quadrant from this point to there and uh, select the um, a point of desired side so I'm gonna keep the one on top so it should be above the line the cutting line so I'm gonna keep that and let's check if uh, our drawing looks okay it looks good so I'm gonna type materials 
I'm choosing flaked uh, reflective beige. And for these two, I'm just going to highlight the whole thing. I'm worried about the inside. I'm just going to highlight that. Go back to flake reflective beige. I'm just going to click assign to selection. Now I'm going to do, I'm just going to close that. Go to solid and select fillet edge. And from here you can see that the radius here is a 1.5. So click the radius option from the command window and then enter 1.5. So we're going to fillet this edge. And the other edge. Right click, enter right click again to accept now we have to fillet this edge here for two as shown here in the cross section view so click fillet edge again select radius and enter two click that let me check if the other side is um, right click, enter, enter again. To create bolt holes, let's start from doing array command. First, we have to create the guide. So type C for circle and click the center and enter. 14 for radius right click to repeat circle and hit the quadrant type D for diameter and enter 3 select that circle I'm just gonna turn off this selection cycling select that and extrude it for we don't want it to be touching that side, so maybe 10 is good. And then type array or A and select polar array. Select the object you want to array. Right click and select the center. And 6 is good. Enter. Now we're gonna do subtract command from the ribbon. Select the object you wanna keep, right click, and first we have to explode this one because it's not gonna work if it's not exploded. So type X for explode, click that one. Now go back to subtract command from the ribbon, click the object you wanna keep, and select the object you wanna remove individually. One, two, three, four five six right click now we have the bolt holes same process on the other side so circle again and from the center enter 14 right click to repeat circle and Click the quadrant, type D for diameter, and enter 3. Now I'm going to extrude that for 10 units, 10, and then array again. So type A and select array polar. Click the object you want to array and select the center and accept the six items from here. 
you can change that like the original is four but I'm just gonna do six and then explode first type X for explode command and select the object you want to explode and then go back to the ribbon and select subtract keep click the object you want to keep and select the object you want to remove individually now our bolt holes are complete I think we're done so what I'm just gonna do is highlight this whole thing there highlight that one highlight that I'm just gonna move it so I could erase these construction lines and go back to realistic I'm gonna go to top view that I don't want go back to slice command highlight and um, click the quadrant select the top side oh not yet I'm gonna copy this one first copy slice just want to make sure I included the one in the center or the inside of the valve and uh, specify starting point I'm just gonna uh, select quadrant go to your left side select the top portion I'm just gonna check if it looks okay inside yep it looks good i think we're done thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe and like if you like what i did and check out the link below for my website for the detailed drawing or reference drawing with the dimensions thank you so much bye bye